John and Juliana here. We are back with our super simple snack series. This is part three. And we're ready to make something that's very versatile, very user friendly, and everybody loves guacamole. So, want to talk about guacamole? Do you love guacamole? I love guacamole. Who doesn't and love guacamole? The hard part about guacamole is what do you eat it with? So tell me, what yes, do we have That's here? a good question. Okay, well, right, I'm thinking, well, chips. But you can get healthy chips. So right. I like these multi-green chips, and you could get these, like, flax chips at everywhere. They have them everywhere now. And um, they taste really good, actually. Now, what on earth is this? It looks like my daughter's hair, and my hair when I don't blow dry. They are actually lentil chips. I found them at... Um, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Trader Joe's has them and they've got like lentils in there so they're high in fiber and lentils are so good for you anyway. So yes, they're processed, but if you're gonna eat chips, make them healthier, right? Right, because everything else is just fried garbage, right? Right, okay. most, of, more, most of the time. Even the baked ones are just potatoes and oil. Just It's not healthy, it's not right. nutritional, nutritionally dense and these both are. Okay, so making the guacamole, how are we doing this? Okay, so simple. So first we're gonna take our mono unsaturated fatty acid avocados. This is just two avocados that are ripe. And we're just gonna stick them in the bowl. I'm gonna put John to work today. Okay. Not yet. Okay. I will in a second. <laughs> Actually, you could start. Start All mashing right. away. Start mashing. Just mash. And then we're gonna add some tomatoes, but you don't have to if you don't have them on hand. But so good just to add the color and some lycopene and lutein, vitamin C, all sorts of phytochemicals. I think Go there's 10,000 phytochemicals in tomatoes. 10,000? 10,000. 10, and many that we haven't even identified yet. Wow, that's amazing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Okay, so I've got something fancy here. Okay, this is sea salt. Celtic sea salt. Celtic sea salt. Now, I asked Juliana before we started shooting today, was um, what's the difference between sea salt and iodide? I salt. Like well, regular I mean, what processed. What is the big deal, right? Yeah, it's a great question, and I didn't know either until recently. But if you look at how crystally and shiny it is, what happens is when you, you this is how salt starts, like from the sea, you pull out the salt, right? And then they process it like crazy, and all the minerals get extracted from there. So this is basically mineral-rich salt before being processed. And like I always say, processed foods are what makes stuff so unhealthy. So I'm not going to put all of this in there because it's really potent. It's so much more salty tasting. Than what you're gonna, what you get at the store, the regular table salt, really? so salty, and it's, I mean like strong stuff. And I was told um, by Dr. Pam Popper that if you have an allergy to a cat or something, you could stick a little bit of this on your tongue and let it dissolve because it's like an antiseptic, and she says it's like an anti-histamine um, effect. Oh, really? And you can be okay with cats. I haven't tried that yet, but I did have a sore throat, or I was like getting a little cold, and I put it on my tongue. I swear, I felt so much better. I don't know if it's all in my head, but. So it, it is healthy. It is antiseptic. Results not typical. Well, but think about it. <laughs> Didn't your grandmother ever tell you to gargle with salt water when your throat hurt? Yeah. That's why. All right. Okay, so just a couple pinches of it. It's really strong. And then I like to add chili powder just to give it a little extra oomph and a pizzazz. And um, this is about a tablespoon. I'll just do about Whoa. that much. Okay. You know, it's not spicy. It, it's really, it looks like it's spicy, but it's really not. Oh, yeah. And you could add onions and what else, whatever you like. I don't like raw onions that much in my guacamole and I taste it for hours. <laughs> a good mashing job there, John. Thank you. I, I like it a little bit chunky, so that looks good to me. Looks good and chunky to me, too. You ready? I'm ready. Shall we try it? Yep. Which chip are you going to try it with? This one. All right, and then I'll try the... I don't know if I can get it on the curlies, but I'm going to try. Get a good... Want me to help you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork, right? <laughs> Guacamole! And how easy was that? Two minutes? Super easy, very, very yummy. And healthy. Great job, another winner. Great job. <laughs> we'll be back with more snacks to come.